Good morning. I am Debbie Cronister. I stampwithdeb.com is my web page. So if you're looking for instructions or inspiration, you can go there and find all kinds of things. I've been a demonstrator for 19, almost 19 years. And so I have been posting on that blog for pretty faithfully for, um, well, since COVID started for sure. There's even some stuff on there from before that. So um, be sure to check it out and see um, if you find something on there that you enjoy making. Um, keep in mind that as you get into the older stuff, that those stamp sets may not be available any longer. And so it'll be fun to be creative and use something that is current. So that is where you will find me and my instructions. I'm also Stamp with Deb on YouTube. So if you're looking for more videos, we're there. So today I'm going to use one of the new ink colors. This one is Shy Shamrock. That one's going to be a tongue twister for me. Shy Shamrock. It's one of our brand new ink colors for 2024 through 26. And so I created it using the um, Poppy, what's it called? Simply Xenia. I'm sorry, not the pop, the Xenia. The Simply Xenia stamp set. And this is the card that I'm going to make for you today. It's a really simple card. It's a simple layout. I tried doing a fancy layout and I just couldn't do it today. So I said, you know what? We're going to do a simple layout. It's always good to do simple, right? And so this is our Simply Xenia set. You will only find it online. You will not find it in the new catalog. If you need a new catalog, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me. I would love to send you one. And so this is a bundle. So it comes with, whoops, most of the stamps are gone. They're in use somewhere. And um, it is a bundle, but it's online only is where you can see it. It's not in the new catalog. So I do have a class coming up, and it's my Xenia class, simply Xenia. And this class, you will not need the stamp set or the dies. Um, and the paper will be included in the class. But um I would encourage you to buy them because they are so pretty. Um, and I'm sure there will be other things that you want to do with it. So these are the five cards. You'll get ten enough bases and products for ten cards. Um, and these beautiful flowers will already be cut for you. A happy birthday. And, of course, you'll use your own greetings. So um, hope your day is a happy one. This paper is, this is part of the designer series paper. This will be cut for you. This die cutting in here, that will be done for you. This is a fussy cut. This is the only one I did a fussy cut on. I just wanted to use the beautiful paper because it's so gorgeous. And then this is the final one. So, um, and you will get two, enough product to make two of each card in your kit. So keep an eye open. That will go on my blog. I'm going to work on that today. Um, at stampwithdeb.com. You'll find it there. But for right now, we're going to do this pretty little um, card. This green is going to be beautiful for Christmas, I can tell. Um, and I wanted to show you, before we got too far into this, let me just grab a piece of cardstock here. I want a piece of white cardstock. So this green is, this is the Shamrock Light. Uh, let's use the brush tip. That way we get a more intense. So this is our Shamrock Light, which is um, the new in color. So this is the Shamrock Dark. I need my tip. But I thought they looked a lot like Shaded Spruce. So Shaded Spruce Light. Pretty dark. <laughs> Didn't realize how dark Shaded Spruce was. Light. <laughs> and this is Shaded Spruce Dark. So they are close in color. Um, and I think they will complement each other. I did use some of the Shaded Spruce um, Dark for coloring my, um, my card. So I used it in coordination with the Shamrock Dark. I think I used, yeah. So because it is kind of light. So. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to start with, this is my front. It's five and a quarter, five by three and three quarters. 
And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp my greeting on the top of it because I'm going to emboss this one. I did not emboss the one that, that I already made, but I think this would be really pretty embossed with. Um, I'm going to come down a little bit from the top. I don't want to go too far because my flowers are pretty big. And then I am going to, before I emboss it, I am going to brush it. So I'm using the blending brush and the Shy Shamrock stamp pad. And if you if you do it afterwards, you get a different look. You definitely get a different look. You get more of um, you'll get the imprint of the embossing folder. I should do that. I should do both time, both ways and show you. So I'm going to brush off on my glass mat just to take some of that off. And I'm just going to go ahead and I want a little bit of a, a highlight or a shadow in the back. Now I can go back and pick that up. That's the nice thing about it. I waste a lot less when I use my glass mat. However, I don't want it on everything else. So let's wipe it off. And just, and that's not even a wet cloth. That's just a dry cloth. Okay. Okay. Then let's, um, let's go ahead and emboss. And I'm going to emboss this and then, and I'm going to emboss this one as well. I am going to use the painted embossing folder. So give me just a second here to do this. You don't need to see how I emboss, right? You will want to, if you're using the painted embossing folder, you'll want to use either the blue or the gray plate. So the, the gray plate came out with the new machine. But if you have the old Big Shot, um, you probably have a blue plate that you purchased as well that um, you would use on top. So would you would use your platform. No other plate until you get to the plate that goes on top. And the gray plate goes on top of the embossing folder. Just so you are sure that which how to layer that. Okay, so you see what I got here. I have a little bit of, I have some embossing. I did my words first because I wanted them to be nice and even. Now, if I took, if I had embossed afterwards, let me just show you what happens. We'll rub it off here. We'll come in here. So you see how different that looks? It actually gives me a dark impression, a dark kind of highlights the raised areas is what it does. Let's see what happens when we emboss. Oh, both sides are the same. They both have raised areas. Whoops, I didn't clean that off first. So it makes those raised areas much darker. I didn't want that for this one. I, but it's, it's perfectly fine, you know, if you do it that way. It's just a different look. Okay, so then I have my zinnias here, and I'm going to stamp those with black stays on. I mean, black memento. Boy, that one. Where'd that come from, huh? The problem with the glass table is that it makes noise when you put things on it, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> Anytime you set something down, it makes a noise. Okay. So then, um, let's see. I thought I had a scrap here. Let's make sure that these are all. And that one was for the inside. So let me just grab a scrap. I probably used my scrap for something else earlier. Okay. And we're going to stamp on this using the zinnia with the zinnia. Okay. Just like that. Good impression. I am not going to make you sit here and watch me color this thing. So I, um, already did one, which you guys have probably already seen in the background here. And what I used was I used pretty in pink. Let's see, this is the bubble bath. This one's pretty in pink. So this one is pretty in pink right here. This one is bubble bath. And this one is petal pink. So you can see how different all three of those pinks look. And then I used Daffodil Delight for my little um, center here. And I'm going to add a little bit of Wink of Stella because the Wink of Stella makes the daffodil pop out because I'm just going to go in that area where I have the Wink of Stella. I mean, where I have the daffodil. 
And it just kind of makes those daffodil little stars like that are in the center of the flower here pop out. Okay. So this is a super simple card. Like I said, easy and simple is always good because look at how pretty this card came out and how easy it was to do. You could whip out a bunch of these in no time. The thing that would take you the most time, of course, would be the coloring. So, um, and that you could do while you're doing, while you're occupied elsewhere as well. Um, I like to color when I'm watching TV or if I'm at a place where I have some time. I'm sitting at the doctor's office. Sometimes I'll just throw a few things in my bag and take those with me. And because I'm going to be sitting there for a while and it gives me something to do while I'm waiting. So, um, yeah, and then this is going to go right on top of here. So I've just added the shy shamrock. Should have stamped a shamrock. I should have done this last month, huh? <laughs> and then um, I'm going to add my flowers here. And I'm putting these on with our dimensionals. Just add a couple down here. And then our ribbon that coordinates with this is gorgeous. I didn't put any blend on here. Hmm. That's unusual for me. You guys know that. I am a, such a bling person. I think I'll have to grab some. Let's grab, oh, I know which one, the shimmery one. These two I will put together and put inside. So those will go on the inside of my card. And I have a ribbon here. This ribbon is gorgeous. I love the way it ties. All of our in-color ribbons are the same, of course, except for the colors different. And I love the way that they tie. It's just this one. I can make a little tiny bow. Look at that. I can go down to a little teeny tiny bow. So I think that's about as small as I want to go. And I'm just going to trim off my tails. And add this on with a glue dot. Hope everyone's doing well this beautiful spring morning. And I'm going to put that right in there. I know it covers up part of my other flower, but where else would I put it? Let's see. Let me pull that off for a minute. A minute. No, I think it needs to be there, even if it does come up. Okay, let's grab some in-color bling before we finish this off. And I love this shimmer in-color bling this year. So I think I have a pack open here. Look at those. Aren't they beautiful colors? Oops, you just saw all the new in-colors. I'm sure you've seen them online somewhere. If you're online at all, they're out there everywhere. So, um... There's my take your pick tool. So these are, this is another color here. So you want to be careful because these colors are really close. Um, but this is the shy shamrock. So let's add those to that. Oh, I only have two small ones. So we'll pick a big one and put it down in here. And I think I'll do that on this one. So there's a little bit of difference there, but basically they're the same card. Let's add a little bit of bling to this one. I think I should have a cap on my pen here before I stab myself with it. And I have done that, guys. <laughs> this one particular I have stabbed myself with. This is the the one of the add-on. Um, there. The add-on tools, and it's pretty sharp. So, okay, there we go. So this is your introduction to Shy Shamrock, as well as to the Simply Xenia, which you can tell I am loving. Um, I understand it's pronounced Xenia rather than Xenia, but I don't know. I call it a Xenia. My mom called it a Xenia, and she was really into flowers. So 
Anyway, you can find me at stampwithdeb.com, and that's where you'll find the simple instructions for this, which are super simple. You guys know that. And I promise next week I will have a fun fold card. I will tell you, I started on a fun fold card. Um, I think it's been all cut up now. No, I have, I have it. So I started on one, crazy, and um, I couldn't get the right measurements. I just couldn't make this work this morning. And then when I got done, I didn't like it. Um, and so I didn't end up finishing it. So maybe I'll finish this one and get it. I've got it figured out now. I've got the measurements figured out finally. Um, but um, I didn't like the way it was coming together. So we'll, I'll have to work on it. And maybe next m- next week I can bring you a fun fold here. And it actually, I it ended up a couple of different ways. My folds weren't right at all. And, um, yeah, so I'll work on that one this week, I promise. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this sick card. If you need any supplies, go to stampwithdeb.com or if you're looking for inspiration, um, don't hesitate to look me up. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. I am-